In his 12 seasons in the NHL, Evander Kane has been a solid player for three franchises. He scored at least 20 goals in six consecutive seasons. And he's only just turned 30. He's made nearly $60 million, and he's still under contract for another four years in $26 million. Along the way, Kane has also gotten attention for things he's done off the ice, like posting this image on Twitter in 2012, calling out Floyd Mayweather. More recently, there has been unwanted attention. In 2019, Kane was sued by a casino for half a million dollars in unpaid debts, a claim that was later dropped. And this year, Kane filed for bankruptcy protection, declaring that he has nearly $27 million in debts. In his filing, Kane said that in the previous 12 months, he'd lost $1.5 million to casinos and bookies. And now an allegation of the utmost seriousness. Kane stands accused of throwing games by his estranged wife, who filed for divorce in July. She also says Kane wagered on hockey, including his own games. If it is determined that he did these things, it's possible that Kane would be banned from the NHL. In the NHL, players are allowed to wager on other sports, but hockey, no. Here's Linda Cohn in an exclusive interview with Evander Kane. Serious allegations with possible serious consequences for Kane. In 2019, a Las Vegas casino sued Kane in January. He filed for bankruptcy. His estranged wife accused him of tanking games to pay off gambling debts. And Kane said the accusations were quote unquote completely false. What do you tell people that say, man, Evander Kane is such a great player, but why does he have that baggage around him wherever he goes? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like, um, there haven't been things that have come up, unfortunately, you know, uh, more than I would have liked. Uh, uh, some of it's been public. Um, at the same time, I think, you know, it's, it's again, it's about how you deal with it. I could sit here and feel sorry for myself. I could sit here and buy into the outside noise and, and I'm choosing not to do that and focus on what I can control. And for me so far, that's proven to be successful. Here's Kane across the line out of the box. He scores! The in front shot by Kane. He scores! In the midst of this career best season, as we look back in January, you filed for bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. How did it happen? Oh, well, that's, uh, I don't know if we have enough time for that, but um, obviously there were some bad decisions made um, by myself uh, financially um, for different reasons. Uh, you know, you don't get into that situation with, without making a few of those and, and realize that, uh, you know, I need to start making some better decisions moving forward and filing for bankruptcy was the first step in that direction. Then we move ahead to the month of July, a tumultuous month uh, for you in your personal life. To the ice now and that investigation into an NHL player, San Jose Sharks' Evander Kane's estranged wife accusing him of betting on and throwing games to pay off gambling debts. Evander, how do you respond to those allegations? Obviously incredibly false. Um, it's, it's unfortunate um, that that transpired. It's unfortunate that um, those allegations, false allegations, were, were made. Um, obviously, uh, when they happened, I understood the magnitude of them immediately, not knowing what was going to happen next, but confident. Uh, because I know that's not true. I knew none of what she was saying was true. And, um, you know, I was very confident and comfortable with uh, where I was, um, knowing that I was going to be exonerated and am going to be exonerated of those allegations. To be clear, Evander, mm -hmm. have you ever bet on an NHL game? Not at all. Have you ever bet on any one of your own games? Never. Have you ever intentionally tried to lose a game? No. <laughs> Have you ever altered the way you played because of a bet you or anyone else perhaps made? Not at all. Your teammates, some of them have spoken up. They've talked about how, how you like to gamble. So what things do you typically gamble on? Uh, for me, yes, I, I've gambled before. I think that's well documented. It was a big part of my life um, for quite a number of years. It's something that uh, I would say I definitely had a problem with uh, at certain points throughout those years, um, certain times more than others. Um, yeah, I, I gambled uh, the night before a playoff game. Um, wasn't supposed to be doing it. 
uh, did it and uh, obviously didn't do very well uh, that evening. Andrew Kane's going to gonna get a penalty here. He just took down Stastny, and now he throws a punch at Colin Miller, and that's going to probably get him the game. But, you know, when you have a problem, um, sometimes you can't control your decision-making at that time. Um, and, and I think that was an example of, you know, my problem getting the better of me. You know, I had a gambling problem. And when you have a gambling problem, just like a drinking problem or a drug problem, sometimes you can't um, control uh, your actions. You know, I think probably the worst thing that ever happened to me was winning big. Because you think you can do it again when you're an athlete, the competitive juices are flowing and then when you lose, it even bothers you even more and you want to go back and try to... And anyways, you just keep digging a deeper hole. Um, but at the end of the day, it's something that I went through and I'm looking forward to moving on from it. Did you ever seek help? I have, uh, I have. And, and, and again, it's, it's something that I filed for bankruptcy. Um, these are decisions that obviously uh, I didn't take lightly. And I knew um, part of the reason of, of why I was where I was was because of gambling. Um, for that, I'm not gonna go back to that point in my life. So gambling can't continue to live with me. And I've understood that. Are you still gambling? No, your... no. There was a report a few weeks back that some of your teammates reportedly have voiced their opinion mm -hmm. on whether to have you back and they chose and they said they'd rather not. Those players say you're not easy to work with. Why would they say that? You know, I, I, I'm not sure. I think it's easy to point the finger at me. Um, I think it's easy to, to try to make me the scapegoat because of some of my personal issues that are playing out in the public and point to that. I think it's, I think it's, a, it's an easy cop out. At the same time, I don't, I don't know if necessarily know or believe that that's true. So when it comes to the media, I really take it with a grain of salt. Shooting it, he scores! Evander Kane wins it for the Sharks in overtime! Evander, you've admitted even here, right here with me, you've admitted it publicly, you've made mistakes, and you've said, people don't know me. What do you want people to know about you? Well, I, I, I think, um, you know, when you're an athlete and in a sport like I am, um, you know, and, and you're in a sport, I'm in a white sport. I'm a black player. I have a big personality um, that maybe sometimes rub, rubs people the wrong way, but it's not meant to. When it comes to what people don't know, I, I, I think, unfortunately, a lot of the issues I've had or the allegations that have been made about me are just completely not true. I'm not looking for um, people to feel sorry for me. That's the last thing I need. Um, I'm not looking for people to feel bad for me. I'm just asking to be treated fairly and judged accordingly. Linda Cohn with Evander Kane. Kane told ESPN that he expects the NHL to wrap up its investigation, which he says will vindicate him possibly as soon as in the next few days. Front office sports report last week that Anna Kane had so far declined to participate in the investigation. 